Hey guys, how's it going? So, if it wasn't for Jeremy last night, um, very good food company right now would be red. Today would have been a red day for a very good food company if Jeremy didn't come out and made a video regarding very good food company, how he's buying the stock. I almost guarantee you today the stock would be red. Uh, as of the moment, the, the company is already trading 680,000 shares on the Canadian Security Exchange. And on the U.S. exchange, it's uh, already, it's just starting, but it's trading 88,605 shares. At the moment, it's up 14.858% as of recording this video. Um, and the volume will increase dramatically. Uh, the very good food company on the U.S. side is 50 minutes delayed. So it's 15 minutes behind its real actual time, but uh, if it, like I said, Jeremy has a big effect on the market. Even though the market today was red, very good food company still manages to be green simply because of Jeremy. Jeremy made a video about it, and the stock got pumped. But this pump, in my opinion, is only temporary because if the market continues to sell off it's going to panic retail investors and this stock will sell off but ultimately people are going to be eyeing this company and if this thing goes below two dollars i think there's going to be massive support that is my opinion but for right now it is temporarily getting uh pumped we'll see if this game can can continue just my opinion uh, and you know something that I found kinda cool is he was talking about the very good butcher website and he said that he bought a hundred dollars worth of food and he's probably going to do a taste test for you guys so it's cool that Jeremy is going to show continued support for this company and it's not just you know pumping the stock he's also helping the company with selling I think that the e-commerce of this store of this company is going to skyrocket dramatically because a lot of people are going to probably order from this company and buy food from it so for people that are not aware I do not like the pole, the barbecue pole jackfruit. I don't think that's very good. Pepperoni is okay, but I wouldn't recommend it. The stuffed beast, I'm surprised that this is not out of stock yet. It's okay. Uh, I think this is more for vegan f people. Uh, uh, the roast beast, also don't like it. Uh, ribs, don't like it. Steak not really a big fan of it I like the very good hot dog though I think that's really good but uh, that's, that's my recommendation and if you want to support the company more you can also buy gift cards and give it out to your family members that are not in the stock market and tell them about this company and give them you know, tell them about this company give them a gift card show them to the website give bring this Company, uh, get this company's business subscription model up. You know, get more people to sign up. Get them a bigger user data, bigger data of users. Uh, I'm really excited for when Very Good Butchers announced the California facility up and operational because then uh, they can officially start producing in the US and then shipping would be a lot cheaper to receive because right now if you were to buy very good food company products the shipping is very expensive because they have to ship it to the United States and that that costs a lot of money because it's by airmail 
and shipping right now from Canada to the United States, it's not cheap. And it's expensive. And that is going to deter people from buying food from the very good food company because it's really expensive shipping. Oh, maybe people will buy it, but they'll buy a lot more food at a time instead of small amounts because if you're going to pay a lot for shipping, you might as well buy a lot of stuff from them. So, yeah. Uh, as the moment we are talking, the market is extremely red. Oil is com down a lot. Gold is down a lot. Global Dow is down a lot. Everything is just ugly this morning. The SPY down $6.60. AMD stock down 2%. GameStop got pumped and now it's pulling back. A uh, snap this morning down a dollar oh seven. Neo this morning down a dollar sixty four. Uh, snap is actually holding out very well, considering the fact that it has such a high evaluation. But I think you know I think the big money that is holding and pumping the stock will give way if the market continues to be ugly and red and back. Okay, you know what? We'll let we'll we'll sell off our snap for more money for other stocks. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Maybe rich people just wanna keep the stock up. I have no idea. I have no idea how rich people think, but I'm I'm assuming short sellers are probably like, I short this, right? Like it's the only one that's not really like I mean the valuation's ridiculous on it. Sixty billion dollars. No, I think that's ridiculous. And I think there should be a massive sell off on it, especially when the market is red. But that's just my opinion. And we'll see what happens. Neo, yeah, people are freaking out on Neo right now, selling it off. Tesla, people are freaking out on Tesla, selling it off. Solo, uh people are freaking out on solo, selling it off. Arkamoto, Arkamoto down 26 cents. People are freaking out on that one. Blink charging down 59 cents. SPE switch back down 85 cents. Ride people are really freaking out on this one. God damn it. I feel such like a, such a bag holder on this. Down two dollars and eighty cents. No, I'm not a bag holder yet, but I will be very soon here. Oh uh, well, whatever. That's just opportunity in my opinion. Uh, but uh, yeah, selling off massively. Tesla, Tesla is down six. Wow, sixteen dollars. Workhorse down two forty two cents. Hylion, Hylion is holding out well. I'm thinking of buying some put options on Hylion, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Nordic American Tanker uh, is, you know, I would, I'm surprised at this one. I think I thought that this one would do well because oil is down, and when oil is down, oil tankers do the opposite. But hey, whatever. That's just the way the market works. Uh, DHT Holdings also down. ACB down this morning, 15.8%. Canopy down 40 cents. Cron down 18 cents. Tilray is down 20 cents. Uh, Giga Meadows down today 2 cents. While FPX Nickel is down a penny. Canadian Nickel Mining Company is down 12 cents. Uh, Talon Metal is down half a penny this one has solid investors and uh, the nickel nickel is actually green this morning up 1.33 percent um, liberal health science is down to down 1.5 cents Kira is down 10 cents planet 13 stock is down 15 cents True is down 82 cents. Damn, True has a big support. Uh, Cresco Labs down 22 cents. 
a half down six cents. Men, men down five cents. Anyways, that is it for my video. Oh, look like Vary is uh, starting to sell off like I kind of predicted. Like I said, if the market is red and people are losing money everywhere, they're going to take the profits on Very Good Food Company. They're going to they're gonna trade it because they're scared of the market and they're going to take profits wherever they can. And uh, uh, Jeremy also attracts a lot of day traders. Looks like, you know, I think there's going to be really good volume today for very good food company because of Jeremy's big exposure. Uh, the market, yeah, the market is just ugly today. Ugly, ugly, uh, ugly across the board. Looks like the uh, GameStop pumpers are losing to the short sellers. Man, you know GameStop has such a big short position. 70... Point three four million shares. I'm assuming that the short position is even increased, even more than that, because the stock has gone down dramatically since October 15, 2020. So yeah, really big heavy short position on GameStop. Uh, you know, Snap. What a beast, holding up nicely. Neo falling. Like I predict, uh, I don't know what predict it, but it's falling. Anyways, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.